All right, so today I'll be talking about nanotechnology and friction in animals. So I actually have a few examples today, but basically friction is when something rubs against something. Like for example, if I push a coffee cup across the table, the table's friction will cause the coffee cup to slow down until it comes to a stop. And so we see that a lot. Nanotechnology is basically like minuscule molecules which make up technology to either enhance or disable certain things about it. So to get into it, the first example I wanted to talk about today is snakes have a slippery skin around them so that they can slither on the ground. Notice that most people, humans, animals, whatever you want to call them, they all walk. And snakes, on the other hand, slither across the surfaces um, rather easily. They, they almost look like they're gliding and sliding. And it, they almost are um, because of the minuscule hairs on their bellies, which are called microfibrils. And they're less than 400 nanometers wide. So the minuscule amount of nanometers inside of their DNA causes them to be able to slide across surfaces rather easily, causing little to no friction to stop them. And their, um, I guess you could say their scales are in a certain direction to where they won't slide sideways, but they'll only move forward in the direction they're supposed to go. Another example that I found intriguing was spiders, creating spider webs. Um, interestingly enough, on the atomic level, the layers are joined together by hydrogen bonds. Um, so the silks get their strength from thin crystal proteins, only nanometers wide, which are stacked together like pancakes. So it's just crazy to think that like such a small web that seems harmless to us is super detrimental for any bug that flies into it. If a fly even lands on it, it won't be able to escape because the nanotechnology involved in the spinning of the web causes the fly to have enough friction to where it won't be able to move from that point. It's super sticky. And the last example I wanted to use was actually pretty similar to snakes. It's actually fish. We wonder why fish and sharks can swim in the water so seamlessly while humans tend to struggle swimming a little bit. Well, that's because we don't have a film around our bodies creating a, uh, what do you call it? This mucus-like film substance around their body, which allows them to swim through the water rather easily. It creates 50 to 60% decrease in friction, allowing them to not only swim faster, but to also go through the water faster with less friction. So those are the three examples I found in nanotechnology and animals. Hope you enjoyed the video.